Good morning. I want to welcome you to our Friday Thoughts. Um, as some of you may be aware or may not be aware, we are still in the Easter season. Um, that season will run through next Sunday, the 24th of May. It will be followed by Pentecost on May 31st and then the Holy Trinity Sunday on June 7th. After that, we move into the season of Pentecost, the long green season of growing. I wanted to share with you this morning a piece from one of my favorite authors. It's from her book called um, Out of the Ordinary. It's Joyce Rupp. And the piece is called Slow Greening. And it really spoke to me about what a lot of us are experiencing right now. And so I wanted to share it with you. She says, I remember many springtimes when I'd awaken in the morning, look out the window, and zap. There this green grass would be robust, vibrant grass. It seemed like it was an overnight kind of thing, brown one day and bright green the next. This greening always came in the spring times when we had drenching rains. One year, however, we had very little rain and many more cold days than usual. Each day I looked with hope, expecting to find fresh green pushing its way through the drab, wintered spears of dryness. But each day I saw instead the same dull color before me. When I looked closely, however, I could perceive little hints of new life and a slight changing in the color of the lawn. I could almost feel the earth straining, trying to draw forth new life from within it. I knew the green would come again, that it would just be a matter of time before warmth and moisture provided the right conditions for change and growth. Eventually, the green did return, but not until I had waited a long time for rain to come and drench the land. This process of the earth's greening after a long winter reminds me of our spiritual Eastering, the inner transformation and rebirthing that comes after we've had a long winter spell of the spirit. The dead brown grass is there for eons in our hearts, or so it seems, no amount of hurry or push or desire can make the green happen any sooner. I think of people I know who are longing for an inner greening and are yet in the throes of a spiritual winter. A widow whose husband recently died at a much too early age. A man who is struggling with a new career in midlife and fears his ability to cope with the challenges it requires. The friend whose husband has applied for work far from home and the painful questions it leaves her about what she will do with her own career and friends. A colleague who fell into a deep clinical depression and struggles to live through each day with meager energy. And I would like to add, at this point in time, living through a pandemic. Each one needs an Eastering a bright greening, and oh, how they long for it to come soon. But it may be a painstakingly slow process, a tiny bit of life gradually weaving through the pain and questions. Eastering isn't always a quick step out of the tomb. Sometimes rising from the dead takes a long, slowly greening time. It can't be hurried. It's my hope for all of you, as we move to the end of this Easter season, that you will trust in the resurrection of your own spirit. Believe that joy and new life will come for you, even though it may not be there for you now. We have received a promise from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that no matter what we go through, that he is there with us, walking alongside of us. I hope that you will remember that as we continue the birthing and the greening of our Eastering season. Blessings, dear friends.